everyone please check your audio and video settings please everyone please check your audio and video settings please are you there guys yes this way we have seen how to call plc call procedure function in every possible situation guys in every possible situation right if actually for function there is no provision so that's why we have started working with what uh, unwrap operation to get the session object in the session object we have taken the support of do returning work callback interface that exposes underlying jdbc connection object using that we have taken the support of we have taken the support of what JD, uh, what is that callable statement object in traditional jdbc style we did that work in traditional jdbc style we did that work and some people says plain jdbc outdated don't learn it if you don't learn it can you write that code if you don't learn plain jdbc can you write that code if anyone says jdbc outdated slap them urgently slap them <laughs> okay na right while working with callback interfaces in worse situation when high level abstraction is not supporting certain activity of yours so you should be in a position to write plain jdbc code in high level abstraction also boss i hope you convinced with that point right calling plc call procedure and functions procedures in mysql July twenty fourth. Okay. Calling PLC call procedure of. MySQL database software. MySQL database software from from Spring Data JPA application. Okay, guys. in mysql there is no what is that in mysql there is no support to for cursors there is no support and there is no support for cursor actually cursors are not required <laughs> cursors are not required in my s cursors are not required in my sql pl sql pro pl by sql program pl by sql program <laughs> okay now let's see you just execute the query you will get the bunch of records that's it there is no need of having separate uh, cursors yeah 
what is our logical database guys nts bms 714 db this is our logical database check it out here there is option of creating stored procedure yes create stored procedure cool create a stored procedure yeah no listen create procedure new procedure name of the procedure what is the name of the procedure get emp details by designations get emp details by designations designation 1 var care to var care no var care to designation 2 var care designation 1 var care designation 2 var care okay designation 1 var care of 10 var care of another 10 oh actually it's a mysql na fine okay mm. yeah default is in guys if no par- if no mode is specified default mode is in i think uh, first uh, data type then in in wrong in uh in designation one this one okay here is in yeah small small changes in the syntax guys nothing else first mode then param name then data type okay guys mm. right oh i think we have to create a table boss even table also i should create because uh, first of all any tables are there in our one yeah your emp table is there emp table is there having which columns employee number employee name job sal department number and mgr department number and mgr this is a uh, manually prepared table this is not ready made table of mysql it's a mysql mysql won't maintain what emp as a ready made table are you understanding boss okay okay guys yes boss uh, now listen we have a emp table was mm. select employee number employee name what is the columns boss what is the column job sal 
I think I think I have taken duplicate EMP. Uh, job sale. Job sale from EMP. Job sale from EMP. No cursor. Nothing is there. No cursor. Nothing is there. Is that clear, guys? Come on. Okay. No. Acha. Where class we want to write now? Where job in. Designation one comma designation two. Designation one comma designation two. Here, what is this? Order by job. If you are interested, order by job. Apply, guys. This is actual procedure. These additions will happen automatically. This is actual procedure. Got it? This is actual code. Delimiter, delimiter, use. Okay, copy this. This is the complete procedure code, guys. Say apply, say finish. Okay, now we got a procedure, boss. Check it out. We got a procedure. This is our procedure. Okay. Done. These are additions. These things just add. Okay. You see, if procedure is already there, it is deleting. Delimiter, beginner kind of thing. Another delimiter, end kind of thing. Use so and so logical database. Create procedure, begin, and all this stuff. Okay. These additions will come when you go when you say next. Okay. Create DB table EMP. Having columns, employee number, employee name, job, sal, DPT number. Okay, and insert records. Fine, whatever it is, guys. And insert records. That's the one. Next one. Mm -hmm. To create procedure in MySQL. To create PL SQL procedure in MySQL. That is my point. Yes. Okay. MySQL workbench. What is that? MySQL workbench. Launch MySQL workbench. Select connection. Okay. Expand. What is that, guys? NTSBMS. NTS. NTSBMS. Seven one four DB. That's a logical database, guys. That's a logical database. Uh, next. Okay, right click on procedure. Procedure. Create a new procedure. Create a new procedure. Done, guys. Create a new procedure. Type the following code. Type procedure code. What is this? Type procedure code. Type procedure code. Yes, basically you will get this part, guys. Type procedure code. Okay. Type procedure code. After this, next. After this, next. 
Okay, then you will get finish. Okay, boss. After this finish. Okay, guys. So we are ready with the procedure, boss. We are ready with the procedure. Yes, boss. Apply, okay. But uh, we need to compile whether it is syntactically right or wrong. Okay. Whether it is syntactically right or wrong. Actually, there is no need of going for separate, boss. By default, it will be compiled automatically. Right, this one, this one, I'm just trying to check. Okay, not a problem. Mm. Okay, boss. Uh, now, listen, observe, is there any need of cursors? Did I take any cursor, guys? Are you observing the story? Did I take any cursor? No need of cursors. There's, there's, there's no need such concept. It by default written the output given by Cori. Sir, by default it happily returns what the output given by Cori. That's a beauty, boss. Okay. Right. Okay. Develop Spring Data JPA application. No need of out parameters also. Develop Spring Data JPA application application as shown below using entity manager support what guys using simply entity manager support right boss yes this is their calling pl sql procedure i'm taking copy of it Okay, this is 909 calling PL SQL procedure MySQL. I'll just give one example, remaining things you work out on your own. It's a copy. Okay, first thing I should do is go to build.gradle, make sure that MySQL jar is added. Okay, other day we have added both Oracle and MySQL jars, guys. Leave it. On safe side, we have added both jars in the previous project also. Okay. Since when you copy paste, listen carefully. When you copy paste the project, guys, Gradle project, you have to change name in settings.gradle. You have to change name in settings.gradle. Are you getting my point? This is one small headache that you are having. In me, when this headache is not there, when you copy paste the project, but in Gradle, you have to you have to change the name in settings dot Gradle boss. Take this one, copy. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Calling PL SQL procedure, I fun my SQL was done. Okay, now you have to say Gradle refresh also once. Refresh Gradle project. Then those red marks will go off. You have to change the name. Then those red marks will go off. Got it? Okay. 
नाइस गाइस आफ्टर दैट इन एप्लीकेशन डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज स्टॉप यूजिंग अरकिल कनेक्टिविटी वाज स्टार्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट व्हाट क्लोज ऑल एडिटर्स लेट मी क्लोज ऑल एडिटर्स एप्लीकेशन डॉट प्रॉपर्टीज हियर इज द स्टोरी here is the story okay now listen com dot mysql dot cz dot jdbc dot driver what's the url guys what's the url jdbc colon mys 3 slashes what is the logical database anyone is having idea ntsbms 714 db any name i can give guys ntsbms S uh, S P B S P B M S ah seven one four D B. What's the username, guys? Root. What's the password, guys? Again, root. This you keep as it is, not a problem. This is for other activities. In this application, this is not required. Mm -hmm. Okay. This time, what? My S K L eight dialect. mysql 8 dialect okay true update fine right now this is what our application dot properties guys let it be next entity class entity class guys change entity class to table emp boss table emp okay on all our constructor fine here is my emp table name emp class name i am changing to emp I change the class name to file name to emp dot java okay guys this is not required this is uh, what is this long employee number long employee number that's cool auto uh, what is next one not null string non null you leave it non non you leave it Uh, tell me here employee number next e name then uh, job then sal what is that float we will take float to sal i think these are the columns we are taking even though there are multiple columns we are just dealing with this okay boss fine no arg constructor now required arg constructor is not required because hmm, all arg constructor is there no arg constructor is there that's fine you know i am not going to do any save operation it's just just to select operation right that's it guys this is entity class go to service boss go to service emp management service boss this is my emp management service okay all these are not required list 
what is the class emp search employees by emps by designations okay uh, here what is this string designation 1 string designation 2 string designation 1 string designation 2 are you listening my statement boss okay next vaccine management service impl boss so here i will take emp management service impl let me rename the file also employee management yes okay i am injecting entity manager object boss remove this nice boss remove this my dear yes take this take this i think this is also not required leave it let's remove all this stuff guys just place this one say paste Mm. Done, boss. Uh, now listen. Yeah, same story of yesterday. <laughs> Create stored procedure query object. Yes. What is that? Stored procedure query. What is this, guys? Stored procedure query. Query is equal to manager dot create stored procedure query come on guys what is the name of the procedure my dear get underscore employee designations say paste uh, here is my what guys emp dot class that's it next register parameters what is that? Register parameters, guys. Query dot register stored procedure parameter number one, one based index only. Class string dot class string dot class mode parameter mode dot in. in. No need of having any out parameter, that's why no need of registering that. Query dot register out parameter string dot class nice set param values set parameter values guys uh, tell me query dot set parameter one comma designation one query dot set parameter two comma designation two Okay, guys. One comma designation one and two comma designation two. Okay. Execute a call procedure and get result. And get result. Okay. Now list EMP list emps is equal to query dot get result list that's it query dot get result list return list emps this is the code guys in service impl this is the code that we have to write yeah some previous import statements are there just remove them okay some previous import statements are there just remove them Okay. Done, boss. Uh, next, 
go to runner class now now go to runner class now guys yes service dot service dot search employees by designation clerk is there and actually i am taking two designations manager is there for each for each let's take print l system colon out dot print l that's it boss okay guys so here is my emp employee number employee name job salary okay same column names are there guys check it out look at the column same column names are there dptnvo actually i have not taken dptnvo i am just taken four columns right look at this i have just taken four columns and in our class also four properties are then boss uh, now listen right click on it run as spring boot application run as spring boot application employee number not found yes designation query executed nicely boss okay what is the table employee number yeah when when you are taken upper case kind of thing guys upper case lower case what happen it looks for employee underscore no when you take mixed case come on when you take mixed case it looks for employee underscore no internally especially when you don't map with the column no sir i am comfortable i will take like this only then what you do at the rate column <laughs> name is equal to name is equal to employee number save it yes guys so we are getting two records we are getting two records now see is there any need of cursors guys you can get the results of select query just like that <laughs> you can sir you want to get individual values then you can take out parameters also you can take out but when it comes to bunch of records there is no need of taking cursors when it comes to bunch of record there is no need of taking cursors are you understanding my point guys okay to get bunch of records given by select sql query there is no need of taking select sql query there is no need of taking any kind of cursor cursor in pl by sql programming of my sql in pl by sql programming of my sql fine boss right develop spring data jpi application i have shown below using entity manager support guys right first what is the lines i have to give application dot properties let me give application dot properties done
None, guys. In bid dot gradle. In bid dot gradle. Add MySQL connector J dependency as additional dependency. As additional dependency. MySQL connector J dependency as additional dependency was. As what additional dependency? Uh, what is that boss? Yes. Go to build.gradle guys. Go to build.gradle. Yes. Take this. You can collect from mvnrepository.com boss. Not a problem. As additional dependency you can add it. Done boss. Next. Yeah, as usually, this is our entity class boss. EMP dot Java entity class. Entity dot Java service interface service interface. Yeah, some dirty drafting work. Service interface. Uh, next, service IMPL class. Service IMPL class. Done, boss. This is my service IMPL class. Lastly, runner class. Okay. Runner class. Right. Mr. Ayush says, Mr. Rashi says, you need not to take columns in lower case, upper case, guys. If you take in upper case also, it will change to lower case. That work will be done by, that work will be done by whom? Workbench ID itself. You need not to take separately in lower case. You can take in upper case also, not an issue. See, procedure name it is taking in upper case or not. But workbench is having tendency of, come on. Workbench is having tendency of converting everything into lower case. Right. Composite PK. So that's why I don't think much on it. Right. This is runner class code, guys. Runner class. And uh,
fine boss this is how we have to deal with what calling pl sql procedure boss right nice listen i have given comment about this one already where is this to get bunch of records given by select sql query there is no need of taking any kind of cursor in pl sql programming of my sql ashish has be stay active in the classroom please guys okay already i have given that comment now listen working with the date values working with the date values i'll give few examples guys don't expect entire ibernet should be taught here come on <laughs> that's a course of 70 to 80 days i cannot teach in what spring data jpa but i will try to pick up variety one variety okay one so working with the date values i will teach one example working with uh, large objects i will teach one example come on okay right uh working with the date values i'll teach one example in we have four association 1 to 1 1 to many many to many many to one i'll take one association and i will try to implement all permutations and combinations on it and after that uh, uh, in support to that i will go for joins hqlr jpql joins so don't see whatever you learn in hibernet everything can be implemented here but our course time does not permit because in spring data itself we have to learn mongo db also is that clear so that means now we are going to see another four applications in what spring data jpa if you have a hibernate knowledge whatever you learn in hibernate can be brought and can be implemented here so that's why if you want to become so good programmer in spring data jpa strong hibernate knowledge is recommended versioning time stamping come on time stamping criteria examples everything can be implemented here everything each and everything can be implemented here clear my dears okay we have a entity manager object from entity manager object we can get the session object and you can do whatever you want or directly with entity manager also we can write some persistence logics super mm. working with the date values using java 8 date and time api date and time api this is also called what joda date and time huh? joda tai de joda joda api joda api date and time api yes working with the date values using java 8 date and time api super guys shall we get into the discussions now okay are in java 8 we have in java 8 tell me local local time to set time values okay guys next local local date we have direct we have a direct classes guys to set date values and to get current time also this is even useful to get current time also to set some new values and also to get current time and to get current date next one local date time okay to set date values are you listening my statement guys okay 
to set date values date comma time values or date and time values and to get current date and time current date and time okay guys no listen <laughs> in our kill database software we have a date data type okay date data type to store date values we have time stamp we have another data type called time stamp time data type is not there guys to store date and time values date and time values not time data type is not given maybe they felt without date there is no value for time maybe they felt like this okay that's why they have not given time data type in mysql database software in mysql database software we have date data type date data type time data type and time stamp data type time stamp data type One minute, or a kill. We are confident, but MySQL better to confirm once. Okay, just type MySQL date comma time data types. I think I am right. Yes, timestamp is there. Timestamp is there. Okay, where we can get. Oh. Mm-hmm. date and time functions date time data types reference manual guys uh, date date time time stamp listen date is there date time and time stamps are there okay the date date time time stamp data types are there guys okay now see the first one fine that's not a issue okay date date time Okay, guys. Are you getting my point there or not? Super boss. Okay, boss. Right. Actually, this is data boss. I think I have done typing mistake. Here is what data type. Fine, boss. Uh, now listen. I would like to work with it. date how to how to insert date time values how to retrieve date time values that why i want to use uh, latest <laughs> latest this one local date time is there na those things okay so now let's take a fresh project guys let's not waste the time file new spring starter project others spring starter project guys Spring Data JPA Pros 10. Working with date time. Working with date and time values. Okay, Gradle Jar 11. Fine, we'll continue this one as it is. Spring Data JPA is required. Lamba key is required. Our kill driver is required. Okay, I may use same application for MySQL also as a copy paste. So let's add something for this one also. Done, guys.
taking bit time. Gradle takes bit extra time for project creation. Okay, guys. Nice. Uh, now let's go for new class. New class. Uh, what information? Some information I want to take. Customer info, na. Mm. Customer. I want to see it's implementing serializable interface. Model class implementing serializable package com dot nt dot entity package com dot nt dot entity okay at the rate entity was at the rate entity at the rate table name is equal to Customer underscore info. I'm thinking a table might be there with the name of customer already. That's why I'm taking new name. Fine, boss. Okay, private integer customer ID. At the rate uh, ID, boss. At the rate ID, boss. Mm. Next. At the rate... Generated value. Default is auto, guys. I'm happy with auto. Okay, auto generator. It internal uses sequence. Private string cast name. Okay, cast name. String na string column na. We can control the length while creating. Column, we can control the length. Length is equal to 20. I just want to continue the default name, guys. Okay. Uh, tell me, it will point to cast name column or cast underscore name column. Definitely, it will point to cast underscore name column. Mm. Okay. Next one is what? Private string cast name. Mm. Next one. String cast address. ADDRS. Copy this boss. Say paste. Length is equal to 20. Mm -hmm. now tell me, guys. Local date time. Local date time, date of birth. I'm taking local date time, date of birth. Java 8 only I'm taking, boss. Next, local time, time of purchase, time of purchase, okay, local date, okay, local date, date of purchase, I'm trying to you use all three varieties, nothing else, I'm trying to use all three varieties, Date and time is taken. Okay, time is taken. Date is taken. Are you noticing it, boss? Okay, this is my entity class, my dear. Fine. Let's go to application dot properties. Let's go to application dot properties. Take the previous one, my dear. Oh, we will go for get us address of it. Customer, uh, tell me, 
you want getter setter methods at the rate data as usually okay now i want to have um, all arg constructor i want to have no arg constructor also now listen except id i want to have constructor guys at the rate non null lambak non null at the rate non null okay next one required arg constructor i have taken even required arg constructor fine okay first we'll try with mysql first first we'll try with mysql then we'll come to oracle because already mysql is there na why to disturb that why to disturb that already mysql is there first we'll try with mysql right boss uh, now tell me here what is this right click new package com dot com dot nt dot service com dot nt dot service here is there new interface i customer management service i customer management service okay guys uh, now listen string <laughs> string string uh, register not register okay in okay fine register customer customer cast register customer customer cast fine boss let's go for are why service class is uh, this is service uh, right click new class customer management service impl boss what's the interface i customer management service i customer management service right boss at the rate okay guys at the rate service customer service are in this whole process we forgot to take one repository interface new uh, what is that package customer repo i customer repo hey we need to take one repository interface or not yes oh wrong package name itself taken as this one a uh, wrong thought yes right click new interface here i will take com dot nt dot repository done boss i customer repo i customer repo extended interfaces curd is enough but fine jpa repository jpa repository okay we'll adjust we'll write t and t later here t is what guys customer id is what guys i think i have taken integer id is i have taken integer integer only i have taken now was fine right why sir otherwise how can i call save method ra babu if repository interface is not there how can you call save method sir in previous projects you have not taken are that is there to call procedures and function directly entity manager is sufficient this is again regular save operation boss this is again regular save operation okay come back okay here what is this 
yeah what is this what people will do you know in a single line i will give the code guys listen return <laughs> okay fine we'll try to write in a multiple things then mm. into id value is equal to mm. okay let's go for private i uh, not i caro it's not corona it's what i customer repo i customer repo cust repo here is my at the rate auto void cust repo dot what guys cust repo dot save Save. What is the entity? Cust. It actually returns what, my dear? Again, same entity object. It returns. Now I don't want everything from there. I just want to get customer ID from there. The generated, dynamically generated customer ID I need. Okay. Understanding my point. The dynamically generated customer ID I need. I hope you understood this one. Okay. Right. Customer is saved. with with uh, id value with id plus id with id plus id okay with id plus id value like this i am writing confirmation boss like this i am simply writing confirmation come on guys this is the one way of doing the things fine i think everyone understood this the save method return same entity class object on that i am calling get cust id to know which have, having which id this is generate this record is save we'll go to this uh, repository fine okay we'll take one more thing a runner class for checking for confirmation we'll take one runner class com dot nt dot runner com dot nt dot runner guys com dot nt dot runner com dot nt dot runner uh, tell me here what is this mm, here what is this date and time date and times run uh, test runner test runner interface what is that runner we want to take command line runner what is the runner we want to take guys command line runner that's cool guys <laughs> right runner also should be a spring bean guys get the rate component let me inject the service boss private i customer management service service get the rate auto get the rate auto okay now listen okay sys out sys out service dot register customer it is expecting customer object fine i'll pass cust there here customer cust is equal to new customer are we have required arg constructor boss new customer of customer cust is equal to new customer of what happened customer new customer of we didn't say non nala are required our constructor is taken now boss look at the imports Yes. Okay. Let's complete import first. 
Uh, then look, look, look at this. Yes. So we have to choose that one where I, ID is not expecting, guys. Raja Hyderabad. Okay. After that, what next, guys? First, local date and time DOB. Hmm. Local date and time DOB. Okay. Local date time dot off. We have a off method, guys. Date of birth. Date of birth. Uh, off. Uh, what is this? <laughs> First year. 1990. Next. First year. Then month. Okay. Tenth month. Next. Day of the month. Day of the month. 21st. Next, hour, okay, 15th hour. Next, minute, 10th minute. Next, third date. Okay, semicolon. Okay. Local date time is Java 8 features. Local date time is Java 8 feature. Come on, guys. Hmm. Why, it's giving, why it's giving error? Yeah. No, still I have to pass more things. Nothing else. Don't worry. Okay. Next one. Local time dot off. Local time dot. Okay. Next parameter is what, guys? What is the order? Then time of purchase and date of purchase. Okay. Local time dot now. Current time. Local date dot now. Current date. Yes. Semicolon, leave it. I think everyone understood this one, boss. Raja Hyderabad. Date and time, this, this, this. Easy boss, same customer is passed there. Yes. Okay. What do you say, guys? Easy or difficult? Huh? Nothing great. Only the thing is you have to just give this. Right. Now let's run the application now. Right click. Why these people are switching on the cameras, guys? Please switch off the cameras. Yes, boss. Uh, now listen. Date and time test runner, boss. Run as, I think I have to run as a whole project. Okay, run as a Spring Boot application. Spring Boot application. See, customer saved with ID 1. Customer saved with ID 1. Customer saved with ID 1. Are you noticing it? It has uh, getting the value from the sequence, boss. Now let's see. Tables. Refresh. One new table is created, guys. Check it out. One new table is created, guys. Customer info. Look at the data that is coming. Yeah, it will come in MySQL format. Don't worry. Uh, see this? One customer ID, Raja. 
here is what date of birth okay date of purchase and time of purchase see all three things are coming perfectly was <laughs> all three things are coming perfectly as we asked for it yes you can pass milliseconds also date of purchase now i have said time of purchase i said now of so that's why it's coming accordingly came or not came oh. look at the data types that are coming columns and their data types i think uh, somewhere we can see the settings uh, primary key not null key uh, check it out dob date time date time because we are trying to local date time na we have taken like right? dop date top time see all the three data types are used perfectly for local date time it is using date time for local time it is using time for local date it is using date it is dynamically nicely deciding the um, dynamically and nicely deciding what properties i mean say data types guys data types okay i'll just take this one also yes boss right so this is about uh, inserting date values are you comfortable no sir along with that i want to retrieve it are retrieving is very easy boss not a issue in what way we have retrieved other time same thing we can do it go to i customer service boss public list customer get all customers customer get all customers if you want to write some conditions you can write conditions also retrieving is not a big issue boss that you should not worry much on it get all customers okay here we will say return <laughs> cust report dot find all cust report dot find all done boss i'll just take comment of it oh maybe i'll just take comment of it service dot get all customers dot for each system dot out to colon print l save it right click run on spring boot app yes we are able to retrieve the date and time values guys according to local date time format they are coming they are simply coming in the format as required for according to local date time did you notice that boss did you observe that okay right now i am giving task of converting this application to mysql that is your response sir i think i have given for mysql okay i want you people to develop this application for what oracle convert this application to oracle this is the task i am giving this is the task i am giving but one challenging thing that you have to observe and tell me is when you take because there is no exclusive there is no exclusive are uh i said tomorrow workshop na no? fine i think my people forgot to create my id boss let me check my whatsapp once still they have not sent id yeah i think still they have not sent id boss okay right अरे मिस्टर जे रवि 
Spring Data JPF internally while doing select operation, it uses no argument constructor. It uses no argument constructor. Okay. Are, my people have still not sent ID to me. Come on. No, we cannot use same ID. Why? Because it's a common topic for all batches. It's not your batch. And I cannot expose your ID to other batches. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, Sashibhushan Jha, in how database maintains date and time value is a database wish. At the time of retrieving, yes, you can use a date format. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Sir, if, if meeting ID is created, I will share in the group, guys. I'll share in the group. I'll collect the meeting ID from admin people. I'll share in the group. Mostly workshop time will be 10 o'clock. Yeah, if it is misses, next Sunday it will be there. Mostly, if, okay, it won't be missed. If it is missed, you prepare for next Sunday. Right, okay. Santosh, you don't know my group and you are attending classes are great, guys. This indicates fine. Jeravi, Jeravi, you are not practicing regularly. That's why all these problems are coming. Fine, boss. Okay, let it be. Uh, what is that? I have application dot properties. One minute. Otherwise, uh, uh, one minute. I'll give basic code, guys. Not everything. Application dot properties. Are all topics will happen one by one, Mr. Sandeep. Okay. Viranj Nailu, I kept my other other classes tomorrow. I cannot take your class. Once 6 p.m. batch is over, I can shift to focus on your batch. Done. Okay. Yeah, Agile will be one day of session, boss. It's a small topic. This is our customer dot Java, guys. Customer dot Java. Customer dot Java. This is my entity class. Entity class. Right. Tomorrow regular class is not there. Okay, workshop will be there. Come on. Workshop will be there. That is at 10 o'clock. That is at 10 o'clock. But my people forgot to share meeting ID with me. Okay, once it is shared, I will post in the group. Please collect from the group. Right. Okay. Sir, Google Classroom is not possible. Why? Because paintbrush images are becoming blur. Please adjust. Because I am writing everything in paint now. It is becoming blur in the Google Classroom. Service interface. Okay. Suren Narayana, so far I explained the same statement, my dear. My admin people forgot to share workshop meeting ID with me. Once it is ready with me, I will keep in the group, collect from the group. Okay.
Right. Service interface. Guys, give me two minutes time, then I'll come to each and everything. Service IMPL class. What is this? Service IMPL class. Okay. Right. Then we are having a runner class. Then we are having a runner class. Done, boss. Yeah, I think I have given one task also. What is the task? Yeah, please convert this application to Oracle. And please observe, when you take local time, there is no time data type in Oracle. How it is managing the things. How it is managing the things. Understanding my point, guys? Okay. Thank you, guys. Sajbushan job, by seeing log messages, we can say log messages and SQL queries. We can say how many times it is hitting the database software. Okay, guys. Right. Right, guys. Thank you, boss. Have a nice time. Uh, Saurabh Singh, any suggestions means we can use any suggestion. We have a third party tools to convert Miven project to Gradle project. We have tool to convert a palm dot XML to build dot Gradle. Okay. Okay, guys. Design pattern course, huh? yeah, maybe uh, right after Hibernate. Right after Hibernate, guys. Fine. Thank you. Have a nice time. We'll meet on Monday for continuation of this class continuation of this class tomorrow okay workshop will be at 10 o'clock collect the meeting id from the group if it is missed don't be panic don't put that message this message in the group it will be done on next sunday 10 o'clock thank you anyhow i will share the meeting id and meeting id details guys thank you have a nice time